The more we talk to people, the more it seems evident. When you follow your dreams, you make your own opportunities. Hi, I'm Bob Myers. My name's Christian Dreheim. We're the Infatuations. The Infatuations. Personally, our music is like a uh, conglomeration of the punk scene from the, the 70s here, the Motown sound, the harmonies. All the stuff that was Detroit has influenced us. So this is our space. There's already some people in here, cool. We're very blessed to come from a town that, that is beat down right now, you know, to the outside world especially. But the inside world the, and the arts community is really banding together and feels like, well, we got nothing to lose. You know, we have nothing to lose except to make art. My name is Erin Gavley, and the name of the store is El Dorado General Store. The energy here is so great, you know, everyone's really supportive, there's this like super creative vibe just happening. I probably wouldn't have been able to do this in other cities. Like startup costs, I funded this completely on my own. I'm Charlie Molnar, I'm one of the co-founders of Sit On It Detroit. We build bus stop benches out of reclaimed wood from torn down homes and provide seating, you know, for people at bus stops. You know, if we were in any other city, sit on Detroit wouldn't work because there wouldn't be a need for it, you know. Here, there is a need for it because there's no benches at the bus stops. It's pretty cool that a lot of people are paying attention to what's happening here and, you know, look at this as such an iconic city that it is. And I'm sorry, but Cleveland, we should have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame here, not you. <laughs> it's personally inspired me, I mean, just keep going. and. In Detroit is that can-do spirit. I mean, it doesn't want to, just doesn't want to quit. The creativity that comes out of Detroit, there's, it's very diverse. I think that's a big reason why Detroit has been such a huge music influence on the world and it's turned out such great music in so many different genres. I mean, arguably we're the birthplace of soul music. Then we took soul and perfected it and made it pop music with Motown. And look what Eminem, Kid Rock, and the White Stripes have done, you know. And, Obviously Bob Seger and Alice Cooper. It's a great place to be from, it's a proud place to be from, and it's also a place that I hope I can live up to a little bit of that. That's what you feel as a band. So, couldn't be, I couldn't think of another town to be a part of, any other music town. Yes. So. Once you really know where you come from and the importance of that, it's, it, just, it just really ensures you that, you know, it's okay to be myself. It's okay to be, to carry on the heritage of my family, so. Yeah. With, with creativity comes a lot of confidence because you really have to be sure on that piece that you're creating or that business that you're doing or that attitude that you have. A little bit of grittiness, the little bit of soul, the little bit of struggle, it really brings a community together. When Movement Festival was here, I had a bunch of friends in town from LA and New York and kind of all over and the one thing they said that Detroit was the best at was its people. Hold on one second. Hi! Snoop around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Well, it makes me happy. You know, like that's that's the that's the that's the one word I can use. You know, happy because I'm making other people happy. What inspired me to be creative? I I don't know. I I feel like a lot of artists feel this way. We're, we're compelled to do it, but we're shaped by where our our, uh, our environment. And uh, I was born here, so I can't help but be shaped by that environment. You know, people fought the bankruptcy just because they didn't want to be bankrupt. And you know, so what, the city's bankrupt now, it doesn't mean we can't, we still want to fight, we still want to make it come back. I think that's the kickoff to the whole rebirth, to be honest. Detroit's back, a powerful creative force, a frontier of music, art, and ingenuity. But it's no longer complex machines making things, it's people, it's soul. What Detroit's making now is personal, because it's the type of place where the individual can create. There's possibilities around every corner. There's color and ingenuity filling empty, blank spaces. It's your town, Detroit, and the whole world is watching. If you're not from here, you 
couldn't understand 